since the company has extended the timeline for completion of its first tranche of decision point analytics, the acquisition that it made by about 120 days. So, Rajan Seturaman, who is the chief executive officer of the company, joins us now. Uh, Rajan, thank you for joining in. First up, if you could explain that what exactly has led to this change in uh, uh, the timeline or delay in closure of this acquisition and has there been any impact on this or change in the financial terms? Uh, not really. No impact on the financial terms or anything. It is just the normal course of digging through the details. I mean, given that uh, uh, they have operations in LATAM, it has meant that we need to understand some of the numbers and stuff better. Uh, at this point in time, I would say that uh, we uh, don't have any kind of uh, flags or anything right? that we want to raise. Uh, it's going as per uh, what uh, we expected. It is just that some of the numbers and the information has been, uh, it's taken some time. Uh, we are confident that we'll be able to close it in the next few days. I know that the time frame that we have taken in terms of uh, informing uh, has been a little longer, uh, but uh, the overall plan itself uh, is, is not delayed significantly, so we are expecting that we'll close it fairly quickly. Okay, so there is no risk of deal falling through, according to you. In that case, Mr. Seydur Rahman, can you give us a sense of uh, when will it starting uh, contributing to your consolidated numbers? You had indicated from quarter two is when revenue contribution will come in, or will it shift to the second half? And in that case, does it mean your revenue growth guidance of 25 to 30 percent growth uh, continues? Yeah, we are expecting that uh, the uh, consolidation will start happening uh, from Q2. Uh, we're not expecting uh, any uh, push out uh, from there on. Uh, in fact, if things go well, uh, no, it should be for the full quarter itself, right? So that's where we are at this point in time. Uh, the organic growth uh, guidance we had given earlier was kind of similar to what we did last year. I would say that uh, uh, we are in the same thing. I mean, somewhere around uh, 16 to 20 uh, percent is where we have from organic standpoint. Uh, inorganic, of course, we will know better. Uh, the signs are very strong, though. In fact, both uh, the decision point and the latent view teams, the front end teams have been uh, working uh, very closely together. And we have been able to take them into a whole bunch of our accounts uh, with the new RGM and Beagle uh, GPT capabilities. And, and they have been able to do the same thing, right, with our supply chain and R&D innovation capabilities. So things are looking fairly promising at this time, right, in terms of the synergy benefits coming through as well. So what happens to this 25 to 30 percent target uh, because of this deal, uh, you know, extending? And since you're saying that there is a possibility that you get the entire quarterly revenues for the second quarter, that implies that maybe the deal would, uh, you know, uh, be done uh, in the next couple of days itself, right? That's true. So we are expecting a closure in the next few days. Uh, at least that's the information that I have uh, based on the interactions uh, uh, we have been having so far. Uh, so hopefully, I mean, uh, yeah, most of the most of the quarter's earnings we should be able to consolidate. Okay, and that one uh, one one and a half month uh, consolidation that you were expecting earlier in the first quarter itself that hasn't come by. So. How That's much correct. would the impact of that be in your overall uh, sales for this year? So last year, they did about uh, $12 million, so roughly a million dollars uh, uh, per month. I mean, we were expecting that uh, we will have about uh, a 25% growth on, on that number. So if you take that about a month's impact would be to the tune of about $1.25 million. Uh, $1 million. So uh, oh. approximately $2 million is uh, what the impact would be, right, for the one and a half month delay. Okay, all right. So let's also talk about the other aspects of your business. Quarter four was tepid because of some decisions ge getting delayed, right? So one of them could be this particular deal as well. Um, uh, what is quarter two looking like so far? And uh, uh, I'm sorry, we are not into quarter two yet. But what is the idea in terms of demand going forward? For quarter one, you were looking at 67% quarter one quarter growth. Uh, as you were pursuing some larger opportunities, are they on track now? So, the, yeah, the opportunities are there, but uh, I had alluded that the sluggishness is something that uh, that we were witnessing, right, uh, when we did the uh, uh, quarterly uh, uh, earnings call. Uh, we have had a few closures, uh, which are in the half a million mark, uh, but uh, there are also been delays, okay, for, with, with some of them. So I'm expecting that uh, the first quarter itself you know, will be uh, I mean, while, while the growth will be there, I mean, uh, in terms of actual revenues, you know, we'll be able to share it better right after we close the quarter and the numbers. Second quarter, we feel that it will be better than the first quarter. I mean, there should be a pickup uh, on the back of some of the closures that we have had, right, which have come later in the in the first quarter. So the revenue pickup should be there. Overall, for the year, as I said, right, uh, we are probably looking at somewhere between a 16 to 20 percent kind of a number. 
So how much lower will the first quarter be versus the 6 to 7% QOQ target that you had? Uh, we'll be able to uh, confirm that uh, only after we close the numbers, uh, Manglam. So uh, I can't comment on it right now, but it right. will be a tad lower than that uh, 6 to 7%. And what about the exit margins of 25% uh, that you have? Uh, would you maintain that? No, I mean, the exit margins, you mean uh, from the last uh, quarter of the uh, of the last year? From the uh, last year to uh, this uh, the end of this year? Yeah, yeah, no, first quarter is always impacted by wage hikes and compensation adjustments. Which is why the entire year is what I'm looking at. For the entire year, I think we should be good, okay? I mean, we will probably be closer to the 23% kind of a mark. Uh, I don't know whether we'll get to the 25%. It also depends on uh, the revenue uptick itself. As we had said earlier, uh, the uh, investment profile, that is not going to change significantly in terms of what we are spending on the front end and the marketing. So operating leverage will start kicking in as the revenue trajectory picks up. So uh, at this point in time, based on what we see, we should be uh, good for a 23% kind of a margin, right? Close to that kind of a Okay, all right. Uh, you know, you had also formed a partnership with NVIDIA on the generative AI tech stack. Uh, is there any revenue which we can attribute to this? And is this something which would come by in the first half of this fiscal or otherwise it could take more time than that? Yeah, I mean, I don't know whether we can uh, uh, attribute revenue already. I mean, uh, in the first half of the year, potentially there will be opportunities that we will close that will lead to revenue in the second half of the year. There have been two, three pilots that we have done along with uh, uh, NVIDIA tech people and architects helping us uh, with uh, with their tech stack. Uh, there is at least one uh, real opportunity that is uh, looking like it will get closed uh, in the next uh, one, two months itself. Uh, we'll know better, right, as uh, we close some of those uh, conversations. I mean, of course, the key here is to uh, uh, validate and then confirm that uh, the combination of the NVIDIA GPUs and their AI tech stack would be the right decision for the client given the particular use case. And NVIDIA has also been guiding us what kind of use cases, right, will uh, will make sense. So this is something that we are evaluating, right, in those pilots and the POCs that we are executing. So hopefully something in the second half of the year. Okay, all right. So we'll uh, touch base with you, of course, after quarter one numbers and when there is more clarity on this NVIDIA deal as well. Mr. Sethu Raman, thank you so much for joining us today and answering all those questions. That's the word coming in from Latent View Analytics. Time for a break now. Aditya Agrawal, Head Research and Investments at Invest for Edu, will join in with some trading strategies on the other side. Stay tuned.